Howdy folks, Doc here with Last Best Tool. And the Hotu company sent me this uh, tool set. It's designed uh, basically for those who appreciate the aesthetics or the engineering of the tool as well as its functionality. And I've done some other Hotu reviews. Um, they just make super elegant, wonderfully, uh, just, uh, just intrinsically well-designed tools. You know, a simple bit driver, you'd think, with a double stack carousel magnets holding it in place. Just silky smooth operation, comes in multiple colors, runs double-sided four millimeter bits. But anyway, I love the Hotu, um, I guess, uh, dedication to the design elements as well as the function. And one of the things that they just came out with is a set of tools uh, in these kits, and they've got three of them. You can see this one here, uh, it's in a plastic case, color-coded or color-matched, and uh, contains some basic things. On this side, we've got a uh, cordless drill, drill bits, uh, bits, screwdriver type bits, charging port. I'll get to that one in a second. What we have here are the standard household tools. So I could see this easily being something that you could present in a home housewarming gift. Um, or to you know somebody who's moved out on their own, um, or maybe just somebody who needs some tools, and, and that often happens to me where I'm, you know, helping somebody out on a project in their house, and it's like, can you get me a screwdriver? And it's like, uh, and they come back with some cheap, you know, multi-tool or something like that, or they have to go to their car and dig through the glove box. Anyway, so that's what I appreciate about this: that they're putting the effort into the design, the quality and just the friendliness. These make you smile. Um, standard tools, we've got our quarter inch hex bit driver here, a kind of a rubberized handle. Um, everything stays secure in here. Hammer, the hammer is a, actually a shorter form factor hammer. I mean, it's, a, it's a, a smaller one because it's more general household task. It's certainly not a framing hammer, but that's okay. And it does contain a rare earth magnet here. So if you wanted to toss a nail on something, just drop it on on there, you know, to you know, pound it in, you're hanging a picture, whatever it is. Maybe you do that with a screw as well um, to get it started if you want. Whoops. And that, you can just drop it in there, give it a little bang on the, the edge, um, and go to town. So it's a small form factor, usable hammer. The head's attached to, again, a color-matched uh, rubberized grip handle. Here is the adjustable wrench, kind of a classic, 25 millimeter, two and a half centimeter open. Um, but again, they spent time. Nice, smooth design. Just looks nice. Looks looks pleasant. Looks friendly. Um, and then this is uh, one of the better tools here. I like this because I don't know who else is making something like that. It's a needle nose plier. It's got the cutting knives. It's got a stripping notch there built into the cutting knives, as you can see. Uh, and then a couple of crimpers, a bolt grabber, and then the standard uh, textured needle nose tips that are well matched. I'm not sure how much electronic stuff somebody with a DIY kit at this level will be doing, but hey, you got the option. Cutting knives. Nice and sharp. You can easily zip through stuff, no problem. Oops, I caught the caught the uh, stripping notch. You know. Anyway, so that's on this side. It also has a tape measure. Might not have noticed that up in the corner, kind of camouflaged. Again, they spent time making the design. Um, it's one of the auto braking ones, both metric and standard. Um, slides right in. Um, designed by Hotu. Again, that's the that's the thing. It's, it's well designed. There is this. It's kind of unusual. Um, it comes uh, in the kit to to rubber cover to cover the hammer. So if you were working on things that you didn't want metal on wood, metal on metal, metal on glass, whatever it is that you're you're needing to tap, you've got a rubberized hammer here. And this is pretty common if you're assembling like Ikea furniture and things like that. And you need a little bit of persuasion, but you don't want to ding up the wood. So that's probably a real life thing where somebody said, hey, yeah, a hammer's nice, but most of the time I need a mallet. Here's kind of your combination. But let's get to this guy here. This is the big thing. 
This is what sets this, this particular kit apart from the other ones that are more just hand tools. And what this is, is their, um, their uh, drill. It's a, um, both a torque, si a torque side and you can also set it for driving in screws and drilling uh, with, no re where, or with no stoppage. But basically, let me grab a bit here. I mean, a, a drill bit and drop it in. So what you can do is set the torque setting that you want. If you look at this, I'm grabbing this, I'm literally stopping it. Now, why that's important is because normally if somebody said, hey, I want a drill, what's the best I should get? I'd suggest this, it's a Milwaukee M18 brushless um, hammer drill. But this thing takes off like a rocket. I mean, if you look, there's like recoil. And that's because this is a professional level drill. It will go through, if I put this up against a chunk of drywall with a screw and just launched it, um, basically I drill this into the neighbor's house. <laughs> you know, it's, it's a lot of force um, and a heavy, high performance tool. Now, if you wanna give a drill to somebody who may not be as well versed in drills, but later maybe, or could be something like this works. Plus, it is just friendly. I mean, it almost looks like a hair dryer, doesn't it? USB C charging in the handle here comes with the cord, but nice and smooth. Let me throw this, uh, throw a piece of wood out here and we'll take a closer look at it. As I start drilling here, remember I'm on a one, it stopped. You can see that. Uh, if I'm very gentle, I still can't get very deep, so I'm gonna to have to crank it up. Why is that important? Because you're teaching the person to use the tool without it getting out of control. So if you're dealing with drywall, if you're dealing with um, you know inexpensive woods, lighter woods, composite woods, things like that, you know, apartment setting type stuff, you may wanna be able to dial something way back. And then you'd want to encourage people to use the tools, but you also don't want to put too much tool in their hand. And that's what I kind of like about the, the presentation here of this particular drill. Plus, if you're using it uh, for any kind of assembly, it does come with other things, other uh, bits. So let's say you were, you know, putting together bike parts, furniture, uh, you know, tables, things that come, you know, with standard hex um, adapt or hex fasteners. You don't want to just go in with a regular drill and just, you know, grind away. But I can flip this and now I've got all the full power that is comparable to what I might be doing with something like this. It's a little different, a little slower ramp up, but this is going to grind through stuff until it runs out of juice or runs out of out of torque and it will yank it out of your hand. So there's plenty of plenty of power here. This feels like a Tesla. It's kind of what I, you know, it might be subdued, but watch out. You know, it, it's zero to 60 is better than your Ford. Anyway, I wanted to bring this to your attention. I appreciate that Hotu sent me this and I, I appreciate that they are working in this space because there's a lot of times, I mean, I can see right now, college graduation, moving out on your own, hey, how about a tool kit? Um, or somebody getting married, a birthday, anything, somebody's first apartment, first house, you know, the birth of their child even. You know, I always love tools for that. But what, who, what HOTU has designed here is a very pleasant, elegant, appealing tool kit that uh, easily could be a good gift and is completely functional. And... With that, dock out.